This could be the simplest transition you'll ever create, but it still looks seriously impressive. Here's how to create a flash transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get started. I've got three clips lined up side by side in the timeline. We're going to build our flash transition using an adjustment layer above the cut between them. First, head over to the project window. Select New Item, Adjustment Layer, hit OK, then drag that adjustment layer onto a track above your footage, centered right over the cut point between the clips. Next, move the playhead to the cut point and select the adjustment layer. Now go to the Effects panel, search for levels, drag the levels effect onto the adjustment layer. In the effect controls panel, we'll add a few keyframes to the RGB white input level. Click the stopwatch icon to create your first keyframe, then reduce the white input level until your footage looks almost completely blown out. You can experiment with this value based on how bright your footage is and how strong you want the flash to appear. A value between 0 and 50 usually works well. I want a pretty intense flash, so I'm going to set mine to 13 now. Hit the left arrow on your keyboard five times to go back five frames. Click Reset Parameter to return it to normal. Then go back to the center and hit the right arrow five times to move forward five frames. Again, click Reset Parameter. And that's all you need for a basic flash transition. If you want to speed up or slow down the transition, just adjust the spacing between the keyframes. Here's a little extra trick I like to use, the same one I used for the transitions in the intro of this video. Add another keyframe, just one frame to the left of the cut, increase the white input level to 15 at that point, then drag the final keyframe farther to the right, about 12 to 14 frames from the cut. Right-click that final keyframe and choose Ease In for a smoother finish. Once you're happy with how it looks, trim your adjustment layer to match the transition duration. You can reuse this adjustment layer transition between other clips too. And there you go, looks awesome. If you want to learn how to create zoom and glitch transitions, I've made a video covering seven of the best ones. Just click the I button in the top right corner or check the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a nice comment below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.